Hello everyone, my name is Akash Savan and I welcome all of you on behalf of Vidyalanka classes. Now, today in this lecture, we are going to learn a very important concept for a third year diploma student from the mechanical branch. The concept is from the chapter of power engineering and the name of the topic is four stroke engine. The four stroke engine is very, very important from the exam point of view. So let us understand the working and the terminologies used in a four stroke engine. So as we can see over here, we have a piston cylinder mechanism in which we have a piston which is having a connecting rod and a crankshaft. The top part of the piston where the crank position is at the top is called as top dead center. And when the same position comes to the bottom, the same position is called as bottom dead center. The distance traveled by the piston between the top dead center and the bottom dead center is called as a stroke length. And the volume between the cylinder head and the piston head at the top dead center is called as clearance volume. Here we can also see there is an inlet port with an inlet valve and an exhaust port with an exhaust valve. We also have a spark plug since it's a petrol engine. So let us now focus on the working of four stroke petrol engine. So there are four stroke as the name suggests. Let us focus on the first stroke which is the suction stroke. Now during the suction stroke, piston starts moving from the TDC to the VDC. As we can see it will move from top dead center to the bottom dead center. And while it is moving, it will create a partial vacuum at the head inside the upper part. Now because of this partial vacuum, the air fuel mixture will start entering from the inlet port. The inlet valve will be opened and the mixture will start entering into this region and the piston will start moving down. This way the first stroke of the ice, of the ice engine is been completed which is suction stroke. Secondly, we are going to talk about compression stroke. Now the air fuel mixture which is there inside the cylinder is been compressed by the piston cylinder mechanism. For this, the piston is going to move from the bottom dead center to the top, set, top dead center. Now while the air fuel mixture is being compressed, the temperature and the pressure of the mixture increases drastically. Now as soon as we reach to the top part that is at the top dead center, we will undergo or will start the expansion stroke. Now expansion stroke is started by igniting the spark with the help of spark plug. Now when this stroke happens, both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are completely closed. And because of the expansion, because of the explosion or rather we can say combustion, a high amount of heat energy is been created and hot gases are been generated. Now these hot gases will push the piston in the downward direction and will move from the top dead center to the bottom dead center and this way a power or useful power is been generated. So this was your expansion stroke. Followed by the expansion stroke, we'll be talking about exhaust stroke. Now as soon as piston reaches the bottom dead center, we start opening the exhaust valve. As soon as the exhaust valve is open, what happens is all the hot gases or the burnt gases start moving out from the cylinder into the atmosphere and the pressure inside the piston cylinder mechanism start decreasing. And slowly what we do is we raise the level of piston from the top dead from the bottom dead center to the top dead center. And this way all the four strokes of an ice engine have been completed. So I hope you enjoyed this particular session. We are starting this lectures in nearby Vidyalankar classes. So do join us at your nearby centers in Vidyalankar. Thank you.